Join Time Magazine's lead education reporter alongside global educators and advocates to explore the impacts of teaching forgiveness. I teach forgiveness because it can have a positive impact in my students' families. It helps my students thrive in the face of adversity. Students who can forgive are happier. Join us to hear from teachers and thought leaders on how and why to include forgiveness in your classroom.
average arise will bring widespread devastation and unprecedented extreme weather. New coronavirus cases emerge across the country. Obesity rates have more than doubled in kids. Cape Town is running out of water. Join Time Magazine's lead education reporter alongside global educators and advocates to explore the impacts of teaching forgiveness. I teach forgiveness because it can have a positive impact in my students' families. It helps my students thrive in the face of adversity. Students who can forgive are happier. Join us to hear from teachers and thought leaders on how and why to include forgiveness in your classroom.
Temperature rise will bring widespread devastation and unprecedented extreme weather. New coronavirus cases emerge across the country. Obesity rates have more than doubled in kids. Cape Town is running out of water. Education Region 3 Schools Division of Tarlac Province with pride and joy we feature Mayantok Central Elementary School, an SPM Level 3 validated and accredited with shining performance in leadership and governance, curriculum and instruction, accountability and management of resources. The synergy of the school, family, and community are more internal and external stakeholders to promote and deliver quality education amidst the pandemic. Now faced with challenges of being a prime time brought by COVID-19, the school has gone above and beyond to ensure that education of the students is not hampered. Let us witness then, showcase the ingenuity, creativity, and care the school brings to virtual classrooms, to families, and communities. Mayantok Central Elementary School, center of a stellar performance, rising above the pandemic. Good day to all. Welcome to our celebration. The target of our event is to showcase the best practices of Mayantok Central Elementary School, Division of Tarlac Province, Philippines. In doing so, we use the available online platforms such as Facebook and Microsoft Teams simultaneously. The school personnel will be joining via MS Teams while parents and other audience can watch the event through Facebook live streaming. We prepared online posters wherein the details of the activity are provided such as the time, team meeting ID, and password. The posters will be disseminated through online groups and communities of teachers and parents 
More so, we requested the local government units to share the online poster. Of our event, parents and other stakeholders in our district are also requested to watch the event through Facebook Live. Meet our speakers, Dr. Susan B. Pagaduan, our principal, and her topic is Mentok Central Elementary School Profile. Second, Madam Maria Almarosa M. Gonzalez, Master Teacher 2. Her topic is Championing the Four Principles of School-Based Management. And third, Madam Rochelle Ayala Bonite, Teacher 3, and her topic is Project Give. Our session is entitled Synergy of School, Family, and Community Towards Quality Education Amidst the Pandemic means that teaching and learning process takes on a different form in the time of crisis. When disaster and crisis arise, school and universities must be resilient and find new ways to continue teaching learning activities that are at risk of face-to-face -face interactions. Schools are being forced to switch from face-to-face -face delivery to other modality due to pandemic. Moreover, the sudden change has created the problems, especially for students who do not have the access to modality provided. When different learning modalities are used as a result of the pandemic, the gap between those who have connectivity and those who do not is widening. Ongoing academic participation has been a challenge of both teachers and pupils. Flexible learning focuses on providing students with options in terms of pace, location, and time of student learning that can be fostered through appropriate educational practice. Students have the opportunity to learn how to continue their studies, where and when to continue, and how students can meet the requirements and demonstrate learning outcomes. It is definitive about its impact but we can make a number of important observations. On balance, the pandemic has challenged and estranged education more than it has benefited. The response from education system and authorities have been typically rapid, but heard hopeful but uncertain, many students have been placed at great risk and teachers have approached their responsibilities with varying levels of expertise and confidence. Overall, However, some positive have emerged. This is how the Mayantok Central Elementary School reached the school-based management level three. Teachers' heart never waver as they continually create classroom materials that are tailored to the needs of the students. With the love and support of generous stakeholders, our classroom is equipped with much needed facilities. We reach out to young people outside of school and care for those who are disadvantaged. Please, Please do not forget our official hashtag, hashtag word eduwig, hashtag school of excellence, hashtag synergy magic, and hashtag project give. To our audience, feel free to send your questions to our chat box. And afterwards, I will choose three questions and to be answered by our speaker. Now, Meet our first speaker. She is our school principal, Dr. Susan B. Pagaduan, a district and division outstanding principal tree, and her topic is Mayantok Central Elementary School Profile. Mayantok Central Elementary School is a school-based management level three accredited, a center of stellar performance. Our school offers two curricula, the special science and regular curriculum with special programs like special education and alternative learning system. Proud to have 28 performing commendable teachers and six division district and school outstanding master teachers that assures our learners holistic development. Most of them are proponents of approved and implemented innovations to improve reading skills, math and numeracy skills, radio-based instruction, instructional materials, 
materials for modular learning that gears to quality education amidst pandemic. They are division compendium of note writers, teacher researchers, and teacher broadcasters, now in our very own local radio school radio station, DZMC 88.1 FM, Radio Aralan. Mayantok Central Elementary School is a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, and responsive school that adheres to child protection policy. We have conducive and safe learning environments with equipped facilities like radio-based instruction room, clinic, library, high city room, school, canteen, gym, feeding center, math room, school nursery, classrooms, and other ancillary rooms. Mayantok Central Elementary School is one of the performing schools in the division. We create leaders and professionals. We provide opportunities, training and services of our learners to excel, like enhancing their potentials, talents, and skills. We build champions in academic and extracurricular activities for many years in all grade levels, producing globally competitive learners. Our goal is to continue the delivery of quality, basic education amidst pandemic. Our school is always ready to respond to emerging challenges in order to rise above the crisis. You have to take the best flexible solutions to solve the learning delivery modalities preferred by parents as a result of the number of gadgets they have at home, like radios, internet connectivity, smartphones, tablets, laptops, and others. Well-participated school stakeholders, operational plans, responsive stakeholders, both internal and external, owned all the school operational plans to attain the shared vision, mission, and goals making responsive and relevant to the context of diverse environment. The school and community will be responsive to the emerging needs, challenges and the opportunities of the pupils, personnel and curriculum of the school, attain toward the achievement of programs, projects and activities. Children's right and protection are adherent to child-centered principles through continuous exchange of information, provision of school innovations and researches needed by learners to improve performance. Shared governance and attainment of strategic directions of the school and division. Expand access to quality and basic inclusive education, this new normal. Parents help us in the massive campaign of Balik Escuela, reaching our out of school youths, out of school adults, and out of school children. We pivot access to equality, relevant, and responsive education. To ensure quality education through the utilization of different modalities and distance learning. MCES is using blended distance learning responsive to the needs of the learners. Adherence to good governance and school operation, provision of critical resources to motivate learners to enroll, establishing of empowering partnership and linkage. The school cascaded the Division Basic Education Learning Continuity Operation Plan Framework for Strategic Leadership and Management in Curriculum and Instruction Management, 
and human resource management and development, building partnerships and linkage resource management to address equity, access gaps, and improve quality. We continuously support Sulong Edukalidad. We want to prove that amidst pandemic, our learners and teachers can still perform more, achieve more, and accomplish more. The scarcity of technologies, resources for blended learning was prioritized through the effective and efficient shared governance through Project GIVE. Thank you very much, Ma'am Susan, for the very comprehensive discussion. Now, meet our second speaker. She is Madam Maria Almaroza M. Gonzalez, a district and division outstanding master teacher too. And her topic is championing the four principles of school-based management. School-based management paves the way in the promotion of quality education bringing together school administrators, teachers, pupils, and stakeholders to improve learning outcomes through shared governance and leadership. Being recognized as center of stellar performance in the division of Tarlac Province, our school attained the SBM Level 3 rating validated and accredited by DepEd Region 3 through the concerted efforts of the school and community leaders whose level of awareness and participation to realize school project contribute to the success of our endeavor. Anchored with the ideals of promoting quality education, adaptive to the ever-changing environment, we delivered the craft to bridge learning gaps on reading, writing, numeracy, and manipulative skill in order to develop holistic learners clothed with the virtues of the core values of Makadios, which is God-fearing, makakalikasan, nature lover, makatao, being humane, at makabansa, nationalistic. Responsive to the needs of our community, we take part in our civic obligation by performing our roles in risk reduction and disaster management, as well as nurturing the learners with their patriotic awareness and social responsibility. Teachers' heart never falter as they continuously produce instructional materials, make action research, propose and undertake projects and programs to address the needs of learners. And these are all made possible and realized with the love and support of generous stakeholders. Classrooms are equipped with the much needed facilities to make learning enjoyable and provide an experience of self-fulfillment where knowledge is acquired in a conducive learning environment. We reach out to out-of-school youth to show care to those deprived due to poverty and delinquency. Parents are kept informed and well-motivated to be responsive to the needs and challenges through regular meetings. Guided by the depth vision, mission, and goals, Mayantok Central Elementary School continues to soar high and be a school of excellence with consistency and diligence. We perform with a purpose in everything we do. It has to be impact-driven. The process to achieve excellence is never easy. We face downfalls along the way. Criticisms break our hearts, but we rise to prove our potentials. The different programs, projects, and activities our school have accomplished were clearly manifested through completion reports with positive display of outcomes. Now, if for some instances we fail to meet the targets, we analyze and instantly we find ways to bridge the gap. We set specific goals for what we aim for in a practical and tangible sense. Having a clear set of expectations we reinforce the whole school and community as we communicate with our stakeholders. Our school creates a meaningful parents and stakeholders involvement. We have a clear and open communication with them. They are free to give feedbacks about school activities, programs, and concerns. Asking their hopes and concerns regarding their children's education 
we even go beyond the parent-teacher meetings. Parents are also involved on event committees and participates actively and cooperatively for school fundraising projects. As we involve parents and stakeholders through these meaningful ways, we foster positive feelings and good rapport as they consider to be partners in raising our school children. With our linkages with the local government unit and barangay officials, we are able to maintain the physical environment of our school. Since we aim for evidence-based outputs, we continue to gain the trust of our benefactors to keep on sharing their time, treasure, and talent in our promotion for a conducive learning environment. Parents love to send their children in a safe and secure learning environment. With all the improvement they see in the school campus, classrooms, grounds, sure enough that resources and funds benefit our clientele. Proper inventory of assets and properties of the school is likewise managed. Records and receipts are systematically compiled and updated. Those that need repair are being addressed at once. We see to it that every part of the school is functional, where pupils can move and learn with fun and safety. Excellence of the school is immensely manifested through its structure and its physical environment. Rising above the pandemic, our school will unfold the magic of shared partnership of school and community as we feature Project Give. Thank you very much, Ma Maria Almaraza, for championing Mayantok Central Elementary School on SBM. Now, meet our third speaker, Madam Rochelle Eldeponso Labonide, Teacher Tree. An outstanding great three teacher, and her topic is Project Give. It's undeniable that education system have been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic, especially the Philippine public school setting. This poses a great challenge to us teachers to make ways and find means to deliver the goods despite these trying times. Bayanihan sa paaralan, Anchored from the Department of Education's Trust National Schools Maintenance Month, also known as Brigada Escuela, which aims in involving stakeholders to contribute voluntarily their time, effort, and resources on time for the school opening. Since the online classes are less possible for low-income families due to scarcity of resources, Mayantok Central Elementary School opted to printed modular distance learning as we enervated that learning must continue despite the pandemic. Aside from the printed modules, we find radio-based instruction deemed necessary to minimize physical interaction with parents given the present widespread transmission of COVID-19 in our community. This inspired me being the proponent of Project Give, a community project, and chairs the management of resources team under school-based management underlying from its principle. The primary goal is to involve external stakeholders' voluntary participation to seek assistance for printing materials, learning materials, and other school supplies, including radios, for the radio-based delivery of learning to the school children. It will help primarily the indigent learners and extend it to 28 teachers of Mayantok Central Elementary School. Here are the gaps and needs of Project Give. Insufficient funds for printing and learning materials for 26 classes and 28 teachers. Some parents are unable to provide radios and school supplies of their children due to pandemic situation. Strengthen stakeholders' participation from the barangay officials to seek out aid for supplemental materials of the pupils. Project Give generate resources by invoking voluntary participation of external stakeholders to seek assistance in the new normal. It's a perfect road to support Brigada Escuela program. It is the gateway to our stakeholders that will be beneficial to school community, school head, teachers, and learners. 
this project will save resources for the school and learners. It is in this area that effectivity of the school, the established functional linkage, and networking to external stakeholders is being tested. Stakeholders' voluntary participation to generate support will result to a strong linkage and establish school resources. This project aims to generate resources to support modular distance learning and radio-based instruction. Lentenda support the school by providing printing materials to 28 teachers from the voluntary donations and pledges of stakeholders. Extend assistance to the indigent learners by providing school supplies for the modular distance learning and radio-based learning modalities. Invoke voluntary participation of external stakeholders to seek out aid in providing supplemental materials for the school children. Project GIVE was launched on the 23rd of August 2021 with the full cooperation and help of the barangay officials in the town of Mayantok. My project partners headed by Barangay Captain Elmer M. Corpus and Barangay Captain Romel A. Alejo. We sought out assistance to support the learning materials of our school children, especially the needy ones, and extended to 28 dedicated and committed teachers of Mayantok Central Elementary School by providing additional aid on the printing materials of the self-learning modules of our pupils. There are people with good hearts everywhere. It is a matter of tapping them with humility and patiently with the knowledge on the main purpose of the approved project by the school's division and office of Tarlac province for Mayantok Central public school children. We were blessed with stakeholders from the Philippines and from other countries. Their gesture of love and care extends to those who needs most. May God return it to them a hundredfold. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Rochelle, for your good heart to conceptualize Project Give. At this moment, I'm going to take three questions from our chat box and to be answered by our three speakers. What are the contributory factors that strengthen the shared governance of the school? Mom Susan, can you please answer the question? Thank you. The attitude of internal and external stakeholders like teamwork, collaboration, transparency, responsiveness, and accountability. This will be of great contributory factor. Secondly, every stakeholder should own all school operational plans. Once owned, success in the implementation phase will follow. Third one, uh, the school must have an accountability system to ensure management of structure and mechanisms that are responsive to the emerging learning needs and demands of community. And fourth one, establish feedbacking mechanism, open communication, reward and recognition that will sustain strong partnership. Thank you, ma'am. Second question, what is behind a school celebration theme? synergy of school, family, and community towards quality education amidst pandemic. Mom Maria Almaraza, can you please answer the question? The synergy of school and community stakeholders produced a combined effect of forces to make school projects realized. Through the collaborative works of both parties, we share the burden and savor the joy of delivering quality education to learners. Voluntary donations come flowing from generous hearts. Thank you very much, ma'am. And the last question, what made you inspired being the Project Give proponent? Madam Rochelle, can you please answer the question? My passion for teaching and the genuine care I have for the pupils of Mayantok Central Elementary School inspired me to fulfill this Project Give a Gift for the public school children. As my mentor says, Project Give spells heart to serve the least, the last, and the lost. 
This is an advocacy of love. And by the blessings of a higher power, he sent miracles from good people with kind giver hearts. Let us all keep our kind giver hearts burning for the school children of the world. Here are the five key steps that other school or organization can replicate from our school. First, we have the programs, projects, and activities. We perform with a purpose in everything we do. It has to be impact-driven. We set specific goals for what we aim for and in a practical, intangible sense. Having a clear set of expectation, we reinforce the whole school community as we communicate message regularly. Second, parents and stakeholders involvement. Our school created a meaningful parents and stakeholders involvement. They are free to give feedbacks on classroom activities and school programs in different platforms. Since we aim for evidence-based outputs, we gain the trust of our benefactors to keep on sharing their time, treasure, and talents. Third, management of school resources. Transparency of our financial records is evident in every undertaking. PTA officers are involved in the liquidation and auditing of the school. We see to it that each part of the school is functional, where pupils can move and learn with fun. Those that needed repair are being addressed at once. Fourth, student organization involvement in planning structure. The Supreme Pupil Government Council has their own programs, projects, and activities for the welfare of their colleagues. Suggestion box is placed where they can drop concerns. Their visions are being heard through dialogues, counseling, and symposiums. Our pupils are encouraged to take part in activities which foster social emotional learning. Fifth, professional development for teachers. Focusing on professional development for teachers is deemed necessary. We help teachers to develop their skills so as to encourage a positive school culture by giving them the ability to improve their craft. Monitoring and coaching as well as providing technical assistance to teachers aims to build confidence among themselves and to be knowledgeable in the application of teaching strategies. Lack sessions help teachers discuss new research and new teaching techniques and how can this be implemented in our school. Again, these are the five key steps of our school that mark to be a stellar of excellence. Before we end this event, in behalf of my Antok Central Elementary School, the T4 World Teachers Day organizer, a million thanks for giving us the opportunity to showcase our school's best practices. To our guest speakers, Dr. Susan B. Pagaduan, 